I will add an analysis group. I will just call it vitamin D versus uh, placebo. And moving back to the analysis, I can then add a new analysis. And so um, you will, with study centric data, you will get this option to choose study data as input method. And so that's what we're expecting for all of the analysis today. However, if you want to use the custom input, input for, um, which is the old style of uh, entering data directly into the analysis, you can still do that, and then you'll pick the custom input. And there are some uh, types of analysis where this may be relevant, but the knowledge base article, or articles for Rathman um, explains pretty well which these um, examples may be. So for now, we'll create a study data analysis. And um, before we're selecting the synthesis PICO, which is what and um, tells Revman which data to pull in, we also need to decide which type of data we want to include. So this is the data source. And as you can see, we have four different options, arm level data, contrast level data, or both with a different preference. And so these are actually new concepts uh, that we have introduced in Revman um, to improve the process of creating what was formerly called GIV analysis. So anal analysis where at least some of the data is contrast data. So I'll give it just a brief explanation. Uh, contrast level data is when only effect estimates for comparing the intervention arms are available. So for example, mean difference um, or adjusted odds ratio and hazard ratios. Um, and arm level data is when data for all study intervention arms are available, such as the number of cases or events for each arm or mean effect sizes for each arm. Um, so I know the, these concepts can be new for you. Um, so I also want to, uh, I think we'll pop into the chat um, a link to a knowledge base page that explains this terminology as well. So you can have a look at it in more detail. But for this analysis, we're going to pick contrast and arm level data which means that if both exist, Rathman will actually um, generate contrast data from the arm level data automatically. But we'll get to that uh, a bit later. So now it's time to uh, define your synthesis PICO. And so what you're really doing is telling Rathman which data should be uh, pulled into this analysis. So here, um, looking at the analysis we had, defined in the PowerPoint slides, where we want to select one or more exacerbations. That was the outcome we were interested in. And the first analysis was a broad analysis. So what we're doing is um, we're using the intervention grouping. So here we say we use this grouping, vitamin D any form versus placebo. And that updates the options here in the experimental intervention and control intervention drop downs. So we can now choose vitamin D, any form, and placebo. And so this is basically our synthesis PICO for this analysis. And so, um, of course, as a next step, you would also set up your uh, statistical methods. But since these aren't really changing in comparison to Revman before, I'm not going to make any adjustments. So I will just um, see if I can add a name to the analysis so we can get back to it later. So I will give it uh, one or more exacerbations and then um, any vitamin D as a name. And then we can move on to defining the synthesis PICO for analysis two. So again, we'll add a study data. I'm uh, picking the same option here for the data source and the same outcome. But now, instead of picking the intervention grouping, because this analysis wants to look at um, a narrower 
uh, question, which is a specific um, uh, vitamin D versus placebo. We're picking that uh, intervention here and then uh, picking the placebo. So this is now the synthesis picker for analysis two. And let's see if I can give this one a suitable name as well. Great. And we'll add the third analysis where uh, we are looking at the same outcome still. And now we're looking uh, at the broader question again. So we'll pick intervention grouping, um, vitamin D any form, and placebo. But we are now interested in filtering out some of the values. So we said we, we wanted to exclude results where the daily dose is less than or equal to 2,000. So what we'll do is we'll pick the covariate to filter by, daily dose, and then we'll say exclude and exclude and choose the category value. And we'll, so that's the synthesis PICO for analysis three. And, oh, let's just give it a name so that we can find it easily. Now we go back and create the final analysis here. And again, we are looking at contrast and arm level data. We are looking at the same outcome. We are looking at the broad analysis. So we pick the intervention grouping. And uh, now what we wanna do is we want to subgroup by the covariate. So then we can choose this subgroup by covariant, and then you pick daily dose, and that's basically what you do. And so for all of these analysis, um, you'll see, I'm just going to give this one a name as well. Um, for all of these, when you've set up your synthesis picos, you can still go to the graphs tab, but you'll see that there are no results included. Um, but since this is subgroup, you can actually see which subgroups will will uh, exist. Um, but for now, there is no data in the review. So none of the analysis uh, have any data. And as you can see in the included studies, there are no studies. 